Hey, welcome to our YouTube channel. Again, Trinity Productions, trinityprosound.com coming at you again with another speaker review. Take it apart. Tell everybody what's inside uh, review. And today we are uh, doing a DB Technologies product. It is one of their new sub-series. It is the Sub-15H that we've got in. Uh, we brought in two of these uh, and have uh, been using them in our rental inventory. And today we're going to be doing a take it apart review on this uh, brand new sub. The H version, um, somewhat of a, uh, a hybrid, I guess you would say. Um, it ends up going lower a little bit, uh, I guess it would say is more designed after the horn loaded type um, subwoofer and uh, has a little bit uh, lower um, frequency response to it than uh, some of the other subs uh, in their sub line. Um, we were very pleased with this sub when we first deployed it, uh, sent it out on a rental uh, with a couple of RCF uh, HD 12 A's and two of these subs and the DJ that rented it um, was just absolutely blown away by the output of the, uh, the sub 18 H's. So um, specs wise, um, this is a 15 inch sub, um, has about uh, 700 watts RMS uh, on the uh, Digipro, uh, I guess, Series 3 amplifier on it, uh, the G3 series. Um, it does have um, quite a bit of features on it, which we'll flip the thing around and show you on the amplifier itself. Um, this unit is uh, designed in Italy. Um, it is made in China and brought in um, two DB technologies uh, from China. And uh, all the amplifier, though, and everything has been all designed and uh, developed uh, through DB Technologies in Italy. So with that said, um, we're going to get into it. I'm going to just go through the specs real quick here um, with you on this, um, on this sub. And uh, as, as we said, it's about 700 watts RMS. Um, it has a max SPL of 133 dB. Um, 15 inch driver with a 3 inch voice coil. Um, frequency response is 35 to 150. Um, Class D Digipro G3 amplifier in it. Um, it does have a, uh, an SMPS uh, auto switching power supply. It will operate off 110 and 220 volts. Um, DSP 56 bit uh, ADE the DA converters are 2448. Um, has built-in limiters to it, um, dual active. It has a RMS peak and also thermal limiting, which is very good. Um, selectable crossover frequencies, which we'll show you on the back, but at 90 and 120 hertz. Um, the low frequency crossover slope is um, pretty good. It's 24 dB per octave. Um, and then some of the controls on the back, we do have the crossover selection. We have a delay switch up to 4.5 milliseconds of delay. We have phase inversion and uh, outputs, we have a link uh, and a crossover and a mini USB for any DSP updates that may be coming in the future. So inputs is uh, XLR and we have XLR out and then uh, power wise, um, this sub has power cons on it. So that's really good. It's got a power con in, power con out. So um, with that said, we're gonna go ahead and flip this thing around and get into the back of it and show you what that amplifier and the input modules and everything look like here on the DB Technologies Sub 15H. So now we're around the back side and hello, here we are. Um, here's the amplifier module. As you can see, we've got XLR inputs um, in case we need to bring stereo in, one and two come out stereo. Um, it has the crossover that you can set it at 90 and 120 hertz. The outputs, you can set them to link together or go into crossover mode does have indicator lights on it here for the limiters in red, signal in green, mute protection is yellow, and the ready light is green. Um, mini USB data port on there, and then we have a level control um, that controls the level. We have phase reversal, zero and 180 degrees, and then we also have um, up to four and a half milliseconds of delay that we can dial in for doing cardioid subs. So um, very, very cool feature. Down here at the bottom, we've got power con in, power con out, and then also fuse protection that is readily available. No fans, absolutely awesome, awesome power um, supply design that everything is done on a heat sink. Um, 
so you don't have to worry about any fans ever going south and burning things up. So um, the um, Digipro amps have been very, very solid, very, very good amplifiers. Um, they've been implementing these on all of their speakers um, pretty much through all the series of the, uh, the powered speakers that they have. We did go ahead and put the wheels on, as you can see. Um, it does come with um, the bolts already in. You just order the wheel package as an accessory and um, bolt them on and you're off and running. Um, these wheels, I don't think they're made by Pinel Com, but they are just as good uh, as what we've seen in, in Pinel Com. Um, no brakes on them. Um, well, in fact, yes, they are Pinel Com. Um, but no brakes on them. Just, you know, wheel them in, wheel them out. Um, but uh, very easy to flip up. Um, the subs, not that heavy. I, I will have to um, say that I was expecting something a little bit heavier, but. Um, they've done a really good job on packaging this thing together um, and um, producing a, a sub that um, not too bad to lift even with the, uh, the wheels on. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and get into it and get this amplifier module removed in the front and show you the speaker and the guts and everything else to go with it. Before we get into it, um, 69 pounds is the weight, so it's not bad um, for a 15-inch uh, sub. Um, one of the other noteworthy, noteworthy features that we have on it is there is a threaded socket on top for a speaker pole so that it will screw in, lock in tight. So that, again, that's an additional accessory. Um, my understanding is that all of their speaker poles are made for them by K&M. Um, so very nice design, very rugged and very sturdy um, for the speaker. There are a couple handles on the side um, that have little um, grips on them. Um, that you can lift the sub with and uh, and then the standard grill as you see on the front there is foam backed um, so that you can't see inside the unit and uh, see the speaker so as with most of the uh, professional line with DB technologies so we're going to go ahead and pull the grill take a look at the speaker and once the speakers out we'll go ahead and pull the amplifier and take a look at that and look at the inside of the cabinet construction and find out what makes this sub 15h tick so now we've got the front of it open and the speaker exposed. Um, the grill is off. Um, just a few, oh, probably 20 screws to get everything out, but um, foam backed. Um, and the gauge of the grill is um, pretty good. It's nice and heavy. Um, so very, uh, very impressed with the uh, construction of that grill. One of the things that they've done with the, um, the grill is they've enclosed it um, underneath this plastic trim ring to also um, provide abrasion protection on the corners of the, um, the sub, but it pretty much locks it in with the way that they've got it in, uh, screwed into the sides and then under the lip um, of this um, plastic. But as you can see with the speaker um, in the unit, they've got it slightly uh, angled down and forward, um, kind of a typical you know horn-loaded type um, Type design. Um, the cabinet is fairly deep. Um, I'd say almost two feet um, deep as far as the, uh, the construction is concerned. What we're going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and pull the driver out and uh, take a look and see what that is and uh, see what the size of our magnet is and whether it is a uh, cast frame or stamp frame type basket assembly on the driver. And uh, once we do that, then we'll um, get into and pulling the amplifier and looking at that, which is just a typical uh, Digipro um, G3 series amp. But um, we'll get into that and show you as well. So speaker comes out next. Okay, so we got the speaker out. We are pleasantly surprised. It is a cast frame basket. Um, it has a mother monster of a magnet on this thing. Um, the weight of this entire speaker is probably a good 15 to 18 pounds. Um, the cone itself and the suspension and the surround is um, really thick. Um, I've not quite felt a, uh, a subwoofer cone that has got that much mass to the paper um, in quite some time. Um, standard construction though, uh, push terminals. Um, to get your leads in and out of the speaker. One of the nice things with this, as in most of the other DB Technologies designs, 
is that they use a threaded screw so that if there is any issues in every having to replace a driver, um, you can take the driver in and out with other, without ever having to worry about um, stripping out the threads or stripping out wood um, and not securing your speaker back in properly. So it is also rear gasketed, um, seals it up tight. And then as you can see inside the, the speaker enclosure now of all of the, um, the bracing that is in there, um, there is this front bracing down here that stops the grill from being pushed in um, to the speaker and into the cabinet. Um, should anybody ever want to do that to your speakers. But um, we're going to go ahead and kind of dive into and look inside and see what we've got for um, bracing and construction inside the DB Technologies Sub 15H. So now we're inside the bin and we've got, it eh, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, probably um, 10 layer. Um, plywood that is put this puppy together. Um, it is braced through this center section here for rigidity and then it does have a lateral internal brace um, from left to right down here and then it has another lateral brace back in the back of the cabinet back here as well um, to provide stiffness and rigidity. It is fully ported on the inside of all the bracing um, so that the uh, the air and also the audio can move around inside the box and do what it needs to do um, as far as its design is concerned. Um, again, as we've said, this um, face plate for the speaker is slightly angled forward from the top um, of the cabinet and it kind of back in at the bottom, um, helping with that horn loaded um, design of the cabinet. You can clearly see the uh, amplifier back there um, in the box and with a single um, lead and Molex connector that um, basically just unplugs the amplifier from the, uh, the speaker assembly. So serviceability on the things, should anything happen in the future um, with it, easy to get an amp replaced, easy to replace a speaker. Um, we've really never had any issues um, with a DB Technology product. Um, it just does what it needs to do and um, keeps on working, keeps on trucking. So um, it's a good thing, good thing. Um, the caster plates um, are all reinforced um, steel in the back of it. So uh, you've got a nice, good, tight um, grip for the uh, threaded screws on there that will bite into the, um, the wood construction and don't have to worry about those things ever breaking or falling off. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing flipped around, get the amplifier out of it, and um, take a look at the Digipro G3 amplifier on the back of the DB Technologies Sub 15H. So now we've got the amp pulled out and it's maybe six or seven pounds. Um, again, no fans, um, all heat synced, um, switch mode power supply, um, very well built. Um, you just can't really believe that they can get that much power out of something this light and this small. DSP section is all up here at the top. Um, everything on the amplifier boards pretty much is um, surface mount technology. So they've done a really good job. Um, the designers over in Italy, um, Claudio and his team, uh, keep doing a fantastic job um, for issuing new product and keeping product up to date. And uh, we are very pleased to be able to, um, to represent them and be a dealer for them here in the United States. Um, I have met the, the team and, and Claudio and the design team and uh, they're fantastic. Support um, out of the DB Technologies people has been absolutely wonderful. They've got a very good support network here in the United States. Should anything ever happen, um, you can get a hold of your dealer and they will get a hold of the um, people at DB and RCF and get the problems resolved. Um, but I can honestly say we've had very few incidences where we've had to have you know, factory warranty service um, applied and put on to a speaker or amplifier um, out of the, um, the hundreds that we have sold. Um, I can think of only instances of maybe one or two um, where we have had issues in the past. So again, DB Technologies has done a fantastic job ensuring that their products 
um, are going to perform and last a long time and do exactly what they say they're going to do in the, uh, the specifications. So um, with that said, um, that is the sub 15H. Again, as we said at the beginning of the video, we've already deployed a couple of these um, out in our rental. And uh, again, uh, we were very surprised with the audio output um, of these 15 inch subs. They do make an 18 H um, in this same product line, uh, which we've not had a chance to hear yet. But as we understand, um, is even a more formidable box. Um, same type of amplification, just a um, 18 inch driver and again in a much larger cabinet that will produce uh, more SPL and uh, go lower in frequency. So um, they've got another winner on their hands with this uh, the sub H series boxes. Um, DB Technologies keeps producing and uh, coming out with uh, many new products so stay tuned this year is going to be a banner year for them as they are going to be introducing a lot of new products so um, stay tuned to our YouTube channel and we'll be introducing those as they come out. Uh, we are going to be doing a demo um, on the new um, DBX DM12TH uh, stage monitor and also going to be having a, uh, a DVA mini system be coming out that we're going to be doing a take it apart and, uh, and demo review on as well. So again, thank you again for stopping by and uh, watching the video and stopping by our YouTube channel. Again, if you need anything, we are authorized dealers for RCF, for DB Technologies, uh, and about 45 other pro audio lines. You can reach us on the web at www.trinityprosound.com, or you can end up also calling us at 209-832-8023. And uh, we offer fantastic deals and great pricing. And we're not just dealers, we are users of it as well. Um, so we have used most of these products and implemented them. Um, so when it comes to knowing what these products and, and these speakers will do, um, it is more than just a sales pitch. Um, we've been there, we've run them, we've demoed them, um, we have played them to the masses and uh, can confidently say and recommend the products and uh, stand by them that they do what they say they are going to do. So anyway, again, thank you for watching Trinity Productions, trinityprosound.com.